the first order of business, of course, here in Berkeley this spring, replacing Jared Goff, one of this program's all-time greats. Great day to be a bear. Yes, sir. couple weeks where every season I always pick out a day where I was going to sit down, have some alone time for a couple hours and really think about what I want to accomplish this season. And For instance, this is my senior year, so I want to play this game for as long as I can. So my goal was to be the first quarterback taken in the NFL draft next year. And that's something that's out of my control, but it's a good goal to have. And to reach that, you get to play successful on Saturdays. the state of Texas and I'm pretty familiar with yeah. all the high school coaches around there and you know it's something that we can relate on. There is some movement. Shot towards the end zone. Touchdown. Davis Webb making a pay. <laughs> oh that's great. So Davis Webb is in. Webb has 44 career touchdown passes. That's seventh all time at Texas Tech. Started 14 games eight last year. I knew in the back of my mind and in my heart that I want to be the quarterback for Texas Tech. Tom Terraville was the staff that I committed to originally and he left for Cincinnati. I really couldn't commit to Texas Tech if they didn't have a head football coach. So I opened my recruitment up and I really liked TCU. I liked what Coach Patterson was installing there at TCU going into the new Big 12. But then Coach Kingsbury got hired and he told me about what he thought he could happen over the next three, four years at Texas Tech and how I could be a you know, a big instrument into that um, process, and I, I fell in love with it and went on with Texas Tech over TCU. Webb's got room to run. Can he get to the first down marker? There's a flag down in the backfield as Webb got enough for the first down, it appears. He's coming to the sidelines, it looks like. Yeah, left shoulder, he's stick, it's sticking out. This is not good. Oh, uh, this, is, this is quite a problem for Texas Tech. You've got to remember what the quarterback situation is at Texas Tech now. This offseason, they had three guys transfer. Remember, Michael Brewer goes to Virginia Tech. Yep. Baker Mayfield goes to Oklahoma. And Clayton Nicholas went to Bowling Green. So that leaves true freshman Patrick Mahomes. We had four quarterbacks transfer out now since my freshman year, which is just unbelievable. College football's a weird game. That's why you got to make sure you do all this because you don't want to be that guy. And I worked extremely hard to be, start as a true freshman. And then the bowl game, I got, I had, I had a pleasure to get MVP. In my sophomore year, I, I still think I worked just as hard. I just, I felt like, you know, my mindset changed a little bit, just saying that, you know, I thought this is, nothing would happen. You know, this is my team was going to ride off in the sunset, break every one of Graham Harrell's records, and maybe got a little too complacent. But I, I still don't think I got that complacent. I just think I battled a lot of injuries and went through a lot of adversity and led to me being a backup last year in tech. So, I don't want that to ever happen again. So that's why I come here every day. It's seven's the latest, and I don't leave here until 10 or 11 p.m. every night, just so I know I'm prepared to play my best each and every Saturday so my teammates can enjoy success with me because I plan on having a pretty good year and you know, hopefully set myself up for the rest of my football career with that. And tomorrow ends in 10 years. I want to make sure I have no regrets and I got the most out of it because I know I can throw better than anybody. This is the first time we've ever had a graduate transfer quarterback. Um, and so, you know, the process was going to be something that was a little bit unknown uh, for us as coaches. It's, it's not something that, that we had experienced before. You know, the conversations we had with Davis once he decided to come was that, okay, look, you know, come in here, uh, earn the respect of your teammates. And, and as I said, he already had a plan. I haven't seen it happen that quickly, you know, they're especially coming all the way across the country, coming to the West Coast. Really the first time he's ever visited the area was when he came out here on his visit. And, you know, just to come in here, uh, he's, he's very driven about uh, where he wants to go and, and he knows that it's all football with him. So uh, he knew that he had to speed up the process and I think things happened pretty quickly for him. He was just you know, pretty far ahead of, of, you know, what it took to run the offense. 
Um, it's a little bit different maybe than it has been in the past. There's a little bit more on the quarterback in terms of you know, communicating with the other players. And that's something that he was accustomed to doing and comfortable doing. And, and I think that gave him a little bit of a head start. When he first got here in May, um, he texted me right away, come, you know, let's go throw, let's go do something, let's go out on the field, uh, run routes, that kind of thing, to get the connection, the, the quarterback receiver connection. So, uh, yeah, that's sort, of, that's sort of what he does. He's incredibly prepared. Um, you know, he's very meticulous in what he does and his approach to things. And, um, and, and so, you know, he, he's a lot like Jared. Jared was that way. I mean, he was, you know, everything had a plan. He had a plan for you know how he wanted to go about doing things, and, and and Davis is really the same way, and I think that's what makes those guys special. This is a decent look right here, where the corner goes with the outside receiver. He condenses it down. And now you got Vic down here on his out route, on his option route, on option. I'm going to tell him to expand a little bit more. He's got all that all that grass to work with. On the X outside levers, press him up, going man with it. It's study abroad for me. You know, I'm here for six months to win as many football games as I can and represent this university the best of my ability while getting a 4.0, hopefully in public health. But at the same time, this is an unbelievable experience and I'm taking it all in and embracing it. I always want to prove myself. I want to prove I'm the best quarterback for this team. You know, not only this team, but the best quarterback in the Pac-12. That's my goal and that's what I strive for. But, you know, I don't talk about that much because I can't control that. I can just control being the best quarterback I can be. And uh, I want to earn it every single day. You know, I want somebody to push me, com compete with me. Even though I am named the starting quarterback, I don't look at it that way. I look at it as a guy behind me who wants that starting job, just like I did last year, who's you know, knocking on my door and any time it could open up. Every time I walk by here, I try to picture this place packed as loud as possible, just so when I come out here on Saturday for my little walk routine, it's nothing. I'm, I'm excited to see a pack, especially that Texas game, just because that's obviously a big game. It's not from Texas, and I never get to play the Longhorns before. But I mean, this stadium is pretty freaking cool. The press box is the best part to me. The big C, you have Strawberry Canyon right there with the cannon that goes off after every touchdown. So hopefully the cannon goes off a lot this year.